guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to do another Octavia video. Life's just been busy. It's just been busy and it's busy tonight and that's why I'm doing something super simple. So tonight is Let's Cook a Lean and Green. And uh, you know, y'all have seen me cook steak in my cast iron skillet, right? Well, my daughter, my very smart daughter, Casey, she tried cooking pork chops, center cut pork chops. And she said, mom, they were so good cooked that way. So that's what we're doing tonight. So I've got it all set up on the bar. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're having. This is a super simple, easy lean and green. Now let me tell you, really for your whole program, keep it simple, keep it simple. But your first couple of months, really, really, really keep it simple, okay? Definitely. So keeping it simple definitely gives you less room for error. Um, and it, you know, it just makes it easier to plan. It really does. I don't like to do math and it hurts my head when I'm having to calculate too many things. So I just like using the guide that tells me how much of this to have, how much of that to have. Good to go. So let me show you what I'm having. Here is everything. So what are we having? We're having pork chops. I'm going to cook them in this cast iron skillet. So I'm going to do them just like my steaks. So I'm going to use a couple of teaspoons. Let's see. No, hang on. I'm gonna use one teaspoon of olive oil because we need a half of a healthy fat for here and a half of a healthy fat for our salad because you only get one healthy fat, healthy fat with these little pork chops. So I'm gonna season them with this. I love this total seasoning for grilling or for any, you know, I use it for chicken, for pork. I use something else for steaks, but I love this for chicken or pork. So I'm gonna season it with that, one condiment's worth each. And then I'm just gonna sear them in the skillet and stick them in the oven just like I do my steaks. Then I'm just gonna make a super simple salad. One serving of greens, one serving of tomatoes for me. Scott will have two servings of greens. One serving of healthy fat. My clients love this dressing. I've never tried it, but they keep telling me, Bolt House, Bolt House. Now it's not on the list, so this is where you do have to do a little checking of the label. So two tablespoons, not quite enough fat. It should have four to six grams of fat to count as a healthy fat. So it's a half a gram low. I'm not too worried about it because I am gonna be using some olive oil. But so I would say, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of this to count as a half of a healthy fat, a teaspoon of this to count okay. as, um, it'll be a half teaspoon each for me and Scott, okay? Because one teaspoon of this is a healthy fat, two tablespoons of this is a healthy fat. Are you following me? I hope you are. All right, then I'm gonna make some rice cauliflower. This is just steam in the bag. And then for each one of us, I'm gonna do one serving. I'm gonna add one Laughing Cow cheese, which is a condiment. It just makes it a little creamier and seasons it up because there's nothing more bland than riced cauliflower with nothing on it. But I have learned this trick also given to me by my amazing smart clients. Mix one of these in there. It's delicious. Hey guys, I put one teaspoon in the bottom of this pan just to coat it. Okay, that's gonna coat my pan. One teaspoon is one healthy fat and it's gonna be split between me and Scott. So it's half of a healthy fat for each of us. All right, and then I seasoned up our little pork chops and we're just gonna sear them. Okay, all we're doing is searing them on both sides, then I'm gonna stick them in the oven to finish up. And I've got the oven preheating to 425. My oven is preheated. I think I'm gonna sear them, see how it's real? I'm gonna sear them on the side too. All right, those are looking good. I'm gonna pop them in the oven. Hey guys, okay. While the pork chops are cooking, I thought I would take this opportunity to do a little mini um, coach's corner, you know, where I talk to you, because you know, the let's cook a lean and green and what I eat in a day, those are all about the food. But um, I wanna talk to you about this, the habits of health. This is what I do on coach's quarter. Um, and I may do probably in November, because my October is crazy, y'all. If I can fit one in in October, I will. But I do wanna start doing a coach's corner again, at least once a month. But I wanna to talk to you about this one. All right, so if you're on plan, all right, so if you're, if you're not familiar with Optavia, if you've never done Optavia, this is what I want you to understand. There is a weight loss component. 
Absolutely, and it's like the shiny diamond that everybody is attracted to. But y'all, it is really so, 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 so much more than that. It is truly about changing your life and optimizing your health, okay? Not just your weight, but your health, okay? So Dr. Anderson, the co-founder of this program, you see him right here. All right, he's written this book. He's written several books, but this is the one that comes with your program or one of the ones, you also get a life book, which is more kind of a question and answer journal. This is more like um, a textbook, but it's a really well-written, interesting textbook. All right, so this is the Habits of Health. All right, in your Habits of Health book, if you have it, on page 425, it's the section on inflammation. Y'all, it's fascinating. I have looked at it and looked at it. There's there's so much to it that I, I don't, I'm not going to have time to go over it all tonight, but it's part 2.14, Inflammation Dousing the Flame. All right, and the reason I wanted to point this one out to y'all is this section right here, okay? This right here tells us that this particular section, it actually, inflammation of every macro habit that we target in improving, okay, is affected by inflammation or can affect inflammation in your body is a better way to put it. So what are the six macro habits that we target? Weight management, healthy weight management, healthy sleep, healthy hydration and nutrition, healthy motion, how to handle stress, healthy ways to handle stress, and six, healthy surroundings. Are your surroundings healthy? All right, so all of those things, those six macro habits, that's what we target on the program. And each one of those can affect in the negative or in the positive inflammation in your body. And let me just tell you a little bit about what inflammation is and what it does and why you want to be in control of it, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna read just something in the margin right here. Dr. A says, and I love this. So right here, Dr. A says, he says the negative effects of an overactive immune system and what do you, okay, so your immune system reacts to inflammation in your body. The negative effects of an overactive immune system aren't felt overnight, but over time, if we keep our immune system in action on bad habits, such as eating unhealthy foods, avoiding exercise, neglecting our sleep, or handling stress poorly, then our bodies will begin to age and break down prematurely. So did you hear the macro habits in there? Okay. All right. This is what he says. The immune system, our own personal 24 seven on-call emergency service has an incredible ability to seek out intruders such as bacteria, parasites, viruses. Now this part is so cool to me. In fact, it's the most complex system in the body. It not only defends us, but it remembers every battle it's ever fought so it can recognize repeated threats and avoid wasting time on harmless ones. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Our bodies are so brilliant. God just, you know, of course they are. He, I mean, it's just a beautiful creation the way he created us. Okay, so what does this have to do with inflammation? All right, when you eat donuts and coffee for breakfast, a fatty cheeseburger for lunch, and a bowl of ice cream before bed, or when you carry extra fat around your middle, smoke cigarettes, and refuse to get off the couch, your immune system goes on alert, okay? Instead of an all-out attack, it trickles inflammatory molecules into your body in quantities so small that they can only be detected through a special test. Mm -hmm. Unnoticed, these inflammatory biochemicals work their sinister effect against your blood vessels, heart disease, against your joints, you know, that pain, inflammation, it hurts to go upstairs, mm -hmm. your brain, what did I come in here for? Mm -hmm. And other critical systems. It may start with stiff, painful joints, tired looking skin, or something far more menacing, like cancer, stroke, or Alzheimer's. All of those things, a lot of inflammation untreated in your body can lead to those things and definitely increase the risk. So it is so, so important to get the inflammation in your body un under control. All right, I'm gonna tell you, what does that have to do with this program? Well, everything. Everything we do in our program seeks to correct these issues that cause inflammation in our body, okay? 
I'm gonna share with you a story about one of my clients. She was one of my first clients, actually. And she is now a coach of mine. She's on my team and she's amazing. And her name is Lana. Lana worked on her feet a lot. Uh, she's a very talented quilter, extremely talented quilter. And so she was constantly on her feet, going and blowing, teaching people how to quilt, running a very busy quilt shop, all the things. Lana also had a lot of inflammation in her body so much to the point where she was in a lot of pain, okay? Now, before I tell you what I'm about to tell you, I have to say, I make no medical claims here. So this is no medical claims about Optavia, all right? Just to understand that. But what happened with Lana is this. After being on plan, I think it was for about, I don't know, maybe three weeks, the pain in her body diminished so drastically that one morning she woke up, she stood up, hit her, her feet hit the floor, and she thought something terrible was wrong because she felt no pain. She literally woke her husband up and said, I can't feel anything. Scared him to death. <laughs> I love this story. Scared him to death, but it wasn't that she was numb. It was that she had no pain and she didn't know what that felt like because it had been so long since she had lived her life without pain. Y'all, when I say that this program is so much more than a diet, I, I don't know how to make that more clear. I really don't. Um, do we follow structured eating? We eat meal replacements. Yeah, we do. And they're processed and they come in little packages. And I hear a lot of criticism, especially online about that kind of thing. And here's what I want you to understand. Look, there's a lot of people out there and I'm gonna just put this to you if you're somebody struggling. If you could have done it with Whole Foods, if I could have done it with Whole Foods, I would have, but I couldn't. I struggled for whatever reason, I did. And that's where Optavia comes in. So what Optavia does is it makes, it, it does all the heavy lifting for us is what I always like to say. So the fuelings that we eat, yes, they're processed, but they're processed from some of the most quality food out there, medical grade food. The macro nutrition behind the plan is, I made Maisie go in the other room and she's not happy. But the medical grade feelings are just, they're amazing the way that they keep you nourished, they keep you healthy while you're losing weight. So I want you, if you're on plan, I want you, this is your homework, I want you to read, I want you to start reading in your Habits of Health book, part 2.14, Inflammation Dousing the Flame. And then I'm gonna tell you this last thing that Dr. Anderson says, and then I'm gonna go check my pork chops. I mean, there's, okay, so here's some of the, it says the silent enemy, conditions caused by an inflammatory state, heart disease, respiratory system problems, gastro, gastrointestinal systems, that's like Crohn's disease, obesity, uh, ulcer, um, ulcers, kidneys, immune system disorders like rheumatoid arthritis, the brain, Alzheimer's, mood disorders, the endocrine, how do you say that, endocrine? I can say endocrinologist, so I guess endocrine system, um, fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, your eyes, macular degeneration. It can also be um, put you at high risk for breast, colon, and prostate cancers. That's what inflammation can do in your body. This program can help us overcome the inflammation in our body, correct it, improve it, get rid of it, all the things. And the reason it can is because you're improving your diet, your sleep, your stress, your emotion, your surroundings, your hydration, your nutrition, all those things. Here, let, let me just, I'm just gonna leave you with this. This, hap, this has to do with healthy motion. Sitting is the most ignored health threat of our times. This lack of movement is activating our immune system and eroding our health, now killing more people than smoking. Yeah, yep. So here's what I want you to know. We're not doing a diet. We're changing our life. That's what we're doing. I know you hop on here and it's fun to watch my Let's Cook a Lean and Greens and I give you fun, cool little recipes and all that kind of thing. Whether you're on plan or you're not, or you're doing something else, I want you to make sure you're making it more than just the food. Make it more than just the food. Okay, guys? Now, speaking of the food, let's go check those pork chops. Okay, the pork chops are not quite done, but I wanna show y'all something. I redid my little nook over here. I don't wanna show you what I did. 
So I don't know if y'all are like this, but when you redecorate one area in your house, it just spurs you on to redecorate the rest. So this is my little nook. Y'all have seen it before. This was um, not even in here. This was over here. This wasn't here and this wasn't here. <laughs> I rearranged everything, y'all. Oh, and I wanna show you this. Look at this, y'all. Isn't it just pretty? So yep, there it is. And there's Moo Moo. She's eating a piece of dog food that she got out of the bowls over here. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you my little redecorated area. Okay guys, our pork chops are almost done. So let's put our salad and our cauliflower together. The little Scott out there. All right, I always have my binder open for my veggies in case I forget something. I have romaine and uh, tomatoes memorized, but I can never remember the cauliflower. So cauliflower cooked from frozen is 3.17. Vegetable conversion chart, you gotta have it. Okay, so what am I gonna do for my salad here? All right, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of this. And the way you wanna do that when you're making a salad is you wanna put your dressing on the bottom in a bigger bowl so you can mix it up, okay? All right, so let me turn this on. Zero it out. So I'm gonna measure out one tablespoon. I love, I love these things. You can get them at Walmart, they're by Mainstay. They're like, two, whoa, they're like $2. <laughs> that was way too much. I think I'm gonna need, I need another one because now it's, I have a bunch of these, y'all. I, I use them all the time. All right, so that went way too much. All right, so let me just get this. All right, there we go. A tiny bit more. Okay. Okay, so there's my one tablespoon of dressing. <clears throat> All right, put that in there. Scott is just working, I don't know what he's doing. All right, now I'm gonna zero out my scale and now I'm gonna add in my romaine lettuce, which the measurement for romaine is 1.66. Hey, honey, would you check on the pork chops? <laughs> That's a lot of lettuce, y'all. 1.66. All right, now I'm gonna zero that out. And I need 2.63 ounces of cherry tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes. I just, I just keep them whole. I can half them, but when I'm weighing them, I keep them whole. Zero. And here we go. Oh, he's trying to get the steaks out. They must, I mean, steaks, the pork chops out. How do they look, honey? I don't know. Almost I got, there. I just got steamed in the face. Y'all, can you believe how big a salad this is? Look. One more. Yep. All right, so now I'm going to cut them in half now that I've measured them. Um, and one of them, just half of it's going in. And I know that seems really picky, but hey. Precise is precise. So one of these, I'm not gonna have. So I'm just gonna cut them up and put them in there now that I know they're the right, you know, the right weight. This is just how I do mine, y'all. And I put the um, dressing on the bottom because it just, um, makes it easier than to mix up and you just put it in a bowl bigger than what you need. I'm gonna actually put this salad on my plate. Hey honey, you about ready to eat? Oh yes ma'am. I'm all in. These tomatoes look so good. All right, so now I've got it like that. Now watch. That dressing was on the bottom. Remember, just one tablespoon. Nobody ever thinks a tablespoon's gonna be enough to dress a salad. Um, it looks pretty dressed to me. Do you see that? And if you have enough condiments, you can put a little bit of salt and pepper, which I've only used two condiments today with this dinner. So I am gonna put a little salt and pepper on my salad. I mean, that's, yeah, one tablespoon. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna weigh my pork chops. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so look at those, y'all. Look at those pork chops. All right, I need six ounces. Oh my gosh, y'all. And that was one teaspoon, one teaspoon of olive oil. All right, that's almost three ounces. I think two of these is gonna be just about perfect. 6.07, you're not getting much more perfect than that. I'm gonna call it good. I was gonna put my salad on my plate, but I think I'm gonna put it in a bowl because that's a lot of salad. All right, dinner's almost complete. Now I need my cauliflower. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna mix it up in here and then I am gonna put it on my bowl. I mean, and then I am gonna put it on my plate. All right, so cauliflower is 3.17 for, ooh, that's hot, for one serving. Let me weigh that out. He's, he's behind me trying to be so quiet because he knows this camera picks up literally everything. All right, 3.14, that's pretty good. Here, honey, you want some cauliflower? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm hoping I've got the camera angle where you can see all this. So one wedge, this is the garlic um, herb laughing cow cheese, and it's the light. So I plop it right on top of warm cauliflower, and then I just mix it with a fork until it gets all mixed in. It's, I would not call it risotto necessarily because risotto is a lot wetter. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a lot looser, but y'all, it's, it's pretty darn close. <laughs> okay, y'all. And if you had enough condiments, like I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on there for my third condiment. I've got seasoning for my, you know, that'll make three condiments. But if you had enough condiments, like you didn't wanna put salt and pepper on there, you could put a little Parmesan cheese on top of this too. In fact, I might do that instead because I've only used two condiments. One here, one there, none there. And that's dressed pretty good. I'm gonna put a little Parmesan cheese, hold on. Y'all, I'm out of Parmesan cheese. I had a tiny bit left. It's not enough to make a difference. All right, now I'm gonna put it on my plate. I might could have fit my salad on there too, but I don't think so. All right, y'all, there's dinner. I'm ready to eat. Honey, they haven't seen you since I changed my room, I don't think. Well, that's been a year. No, the, the month. I just meant maybe you should say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yeah, she let me back. She let me out of the office. I can't wait for us to do, um, I wanna look for some more boxes to do together, not clothing boxes. Like I was watching um, Sherry. Show me Sherry. I was watching her the other night and her and Dwayne were doing the coolest box. Yeah, it was a gadget box. It was a gadget box. And so I'm thinking, we need something. We, gadget. I want to do a cool gadget box. So I think we're, we're going to try. We're going to look for a gadget box. We're going to look for a gadget box. But anyway, you know he's going to be on the ones about food. And I think what we're going to do this week. <laughs> <laughs> I have to eat. So. I know. And I think what we're going to do this week, too, is um, I'm going to try to get it up. This one's going up late. I'm going to I'm gonna upload this tonight. Ooh. So it's going up late. I go, oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm so mo I'm, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, Motivated? No. Mojo? No. <laughs> you know, when you're- um, Fat burn. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. Um, Loss of memory? I was just talking about that. Okay, never mind. Um, It'll come. Golly, what is the word? That's gonna make me crazy. Okay, hang on. Uh, you need one of these little Balloon you know, when head. you've got <laughs> high hopes of doing something, you're you're very um, oh, um, no, you optimistic, yeah. maybe? Yeah. I don't, anyway, I'm being very optimistic tonight because I am going to edit and upload this video That's tonight. And I have a training I have to get on at 7.30, so i yeah. got to get busy. Okay, so anyway, why am I talking about all that? I don't even know. Because um, we're just having a conversation right before dinner. You just don't want to be rude true. and just say, here's food, to eat. <laughs> you got to have a little combo. Oh, I know where I was going with that. Oh. So, okay. So, See? yeah, this is going up on Thursday if I get it all done. And then Friday I have another unboxing that I think y'all are going to enjoy. 
But then, so tomorrow, Friday, what I wanna do is film a What I Eat in a Day. Haven't done one of those in forever. But the reason I wanna do it on Friday what? is so he can do it with me. Oh. He can do it with boy. me. Boy. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's been, he's been away from the channel for a little while, so he needs to get back to work. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> okay, so let's eat, y'all. Look, all right, so here's the final product. I showed you See mine. How pretty it's, mine looks? It's beautiful. All right, let, I, 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 I want to dig into the cauliflower. My, I am thankful. My clients are the ones that led me onto this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's so good, y'all. It is very good. All right, my daughter is the one that told me about the pork chop. I'm talking with my mouth full. Luckily, it's not seafood, or now it is. That pork chop is beautiful. All right, <laughs> let's just see. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Mmm. It's tender. Juicy, delicious. I like a steak. Well, no, it's not like a filet mignon that melts in your mouth. We right. Need, we need to have one of those soon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Okay, let me try this dressing. I've never had this dressing before. Did you use the new dressing? I didn't know it was new. Yeah. No, I didn't. It's, it's a, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Just tell me if you like it. I didn't use it. Oh, you didn't? No, you didn't oh. tell me to. <laughs> You didn't say, here, we're gonna try this new dressing. So I got... That's a hilarious, y'all. No, you didn't tell me to. <laughs> I stuck with what I knew. So in other words, if I don't tell you to do something, you don't do it. This is good, this is new information. I can, use, I can use this, no. <laughs> no, that is not how it's always worked. But it's how it's gonna work now. <laughs> you say, go here, I go there. Yeah, that's how it works. I say go here, he goes there. Oh, wow, well, in the same direction. Oh, y'all, we gotta go. I gotta go eat this dinner so I can go get busy. That's right, let's go try it down. All right, so we're gonna go, where are you going? I was going, the dogs were coming in. Oh, okay, well, I, we're gonna go eat our dinner. You guys, I hope y'all are having a great blessed day. Till we get back together again, you guys stay safe, you stay well. And let's see if he remembers. We're... Out. out. <laughs> Bye, y'all.